Okay, so I'm hoping you guys are subscribed. If you're not, that's okay. I'll try to figure that out and get you subscribed. But I wanted to make this video about jealousy. I've, I've been wanting to make a jealousy video for so long, but it's such a crazy topic. So I think I'm going to probably do this in parts. But um, my hair needs to be retwisted, redone. But um, yeah, I have. that's something I've struggled with. And not me being the jealous one. Me not understanding jealousy um my volume might not be that loud because i'm using my front camera this time usually i use the pro side which is the other side of my phone but i don't feel like doing that and i decided to use a different setup so we'll see what happens with this one but um i never understood it like when i was a kid growing up my mom always wanted me to be myself so with that being said i really just and I'm creative, I'm artsy as y'all can see. Um, I've always wanted to do my own thing and I love doing my own thing. And the older I got, I just realized that some people aren't allowed to do what they love. Um, you know, I have people that also, let's, let's bring up the comments. I have people that say like, you should have became a doctor or became this or that, which I could care less about. I'm not gonna do something for money. Like at the end of the day, we only get one life to live. So if I could live it the way I want to and hopefully be super comfortable, great but honestly a little bit of struggle and still having love in your life and happiness is a lot better i'm gonna be honest with you and that is why i'm here on youtube like literally doing what i love right now and talking and having my channel but not everybody can do that which causes jealousy like people aren't just jealous of physical people are also jealous of things you have people are jealous of what you can do your abilities and i'm not gonna sit here and say i've never been jealous of in my life maybe I've, I've had moments where i'm just like man i wish i could do that da, 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 da. but i never taken it out on anyone either um and the older i get i start to understand that not everybody's rooting for you right and everyone you think is your friend you would think they're rooting for you but they're not. Some examples, like, I was talking to this guy, and I was going on a trip, and I told him about it. We were cool. We were on cool terms. Like, communication was great. And I told him, I'm going on a trip. I'll text you when I get back, da 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 And he's texting me while I'm on my trip. He's kind of being rude. He's being nasty. And I'm just like, where did all this energy come from? And he's not in a situation in his life where he could just travel that easily. So... I didn't understand at that moment, like, at that moment, I'm like, there's no way, why would someone you're interested in talking to be jealous of you? Like, like, why would they do that? And I talked to my friend about it, and she was just like, it's a thing. Like, people can love you, admire you, and that's why I feel like jealousy is like, they're admiring you, but at the same time, they can't do it for themselves. So that's where the whole jealousy part comes in. And I'll be honest, I'm gonna say another thing about jealousy, I feel like you can have zero dollars in the bank. And you could be happy living your life, right? Which has happened to me sometimes in my life. And, and people see me still happy and flourishing and doing things and making things happen. Because they don't know how I, I make my money. I figure stuff out. But it's like, people are just jealous of that alone. Like, think about it. There's people who are out there and have millions, so much money in the bank, right? And then they look and they see somebody who has a happy family, happy life, living comfortable, doing their thing, that does not have as much money as them. That person who's rich is going to be jealous. Like, happiness is something you cannot buy. And I know that sounds cliche, but I really feel it's true. Like, I love to do things and activities and fun things, but once they're over, it's like, okay, now what? Like, you're going to continue to keep wanting to do stuff and do stuff and do stuff. Like, literally today, I had a really chill day. It was fun. I was with my best friend. We were watching movies, eating snacks, cracking jokes. I redid my nails. Um, and tomorrow we plan on going to the movies and having fun and, you know, we do stuff like that. I feel like family and friends is something that is so close to me and I, I feel like you can't put a price on them. That's how I feel and people are jealous of that as well. So we talked about jealousy. We talked about how people are jealous of what you have. We talked about how people are jealous of just how you live your life because they can't, like, I know a lot of females with kids and stuff be coming at me and stuff like, oh, you just be doing this and be so spontaneous and do what you want. Life's not supposed to be like that. And I'm like, I have no kids. Life can be like that and life will be like that. I have no kids and don't plan on having kids soon. I'm taking my birth control and my vitamins. I'm doing what I need to do to prevent myself from going deep into poverty. We're good on that one. Um, so it's like, I think about that and I have females that come at me for that. Then there's also jealousy, like, I hate when, I can't say hate, 
I dislike when females are jealous of other females. Like, I feel like you need to dig deep in yourself. And think about what you have going on or traumas you have. And that's what I think about too. I think about why something is that is not affecting me is affecting me. Which happens a lot. I think about it and I talk about it too. Like I talk about, oh, I had this experience. So when I see that experience, I get kind of tight. I really do. Like a lot of racism, colorism, texture. Like those incidents really get to me because it's an experience I had. Am I jealous? No. I have healed and have learned why those things have happened to me and that they were not my fault and I don't see jealousy and I also don't gang up and go in on the the acts and activities like the stuff that Cardi B be doing I don't and I spice I don't I don't be joining in on that and in the comments and stuff like no what they're doing is wrong period but I do think that is something that I'm growing to understand jealousy and envy as well that somebody can be your friend smile in your face and be envious and I've been in so many situations. I talked about it with New Pulp University and realistically embracing a lady at that school club that was toxic, obnoxious, stalkery, and weird. And I never encountered a culture club like that ever in an organization or just in a school, period. There are people in there that called themselves my friend. And it was a club where women were supposed to embrace how they looked and their bodies and all body types, all features. Meanwhile, everyone in the club was very insecure about what they wear. They would send to a group chat all the photos, all, like photos of all the things that they wear and have them uh, not judge, but basically be like, I'm wearing this, don't wear it. Like, it was creepy. Like, I'm sorry, but if somebody's wearing the same outfit as me, we twin in, we haven't, but I don't care. I never, I was never that girl. Like, if we wear the same outfit, what's up? Let's take a picture. You're cute, I'm cute, let's do this. That's how I think. Like, I'm just happy about it. But not a lot of people are like that. Um, and I definitely think that goes into just being a, a woman. Like, it's really crazy to me because I see it when I'm out and, like, usually I'm in a bikini. Like I said, I love swimwear. I want to create my swimwear line. Y'all know this. I'm in my bikini. I go to the spa. I go to the beach. And you see women clutching their man for dear life. And I'm like, girl. First of all, don't nobody want that. But then secondly, I understand, like, I understand, but I'm like, you shouldn't have to do that. Because I went on a date with some dudes that I thought was really, it was amazing because they gave me 100% of their attention. Like, I was looking at the females. Because, you know, I was like, oh, she cute. Didn't even look their way. Um, and I'm like, it's possible for a man to be respectful and to give you 100% of the attention. It is possible, but if you just don't have the right man, you don't have the right man. I'm be honest, sis, you don't. And that's where the jealousy comes in. And I've even felt that, like, being the single girl, going into, like, a friend group that has, like, couples, if that makes sense. Being the single girl, being the girl that dresses body yachty, doesn't care, doing what you want, having fun, being able to pull who you ever, whoever you want in a public space. It's like, I've seen how I get treated because of it. And it's like, like, you'll get excluded. You won't get invited to things. They'll be like, no, we don't want to invite her because she's going to be getting all the looks and stares, this and that. Like, I'm like, that's why I don't like the club scene. Like I said before in another video where I talked about the club scene and how other girls get jealous of men dancing with this person. And I'm like, he ain't nothing. He ain't shit. He ain't jack shit. You need to stop thinking that. They have one thing on their mind when they're in the club, okay? There's nothing to be feeling insecure about. Um, jealousy, what I'm trying to say is jealousy also derives from insecurity. Um, which I'm not saying is an awful thing. I'm just, like, I think it's reasonable. Like, I understand it. I understand when you're insecure, you get jealous of things. Like, I get it. Um, I completely get that. But for me, it's about how you act because of those insecurities. You can be jealous. We're humans, right? But it's about how you act because of those insecurities. And I know women that will literally ruin a girl's life, fight a girl, Call a girl, text a girl, all this over a man and jealousy. It's, we shouldn't be doing that. What are we doing? Like, that's insane. That really is insane to me. And that's what I mean by it's about that action behind your jealousy. With that school club, in the long run, figured out they weren't my real friends. They were jealous of me the whole time. They were mad that I basically was confident. I wore what I wanted. I didn't, like, I thought we were really supposed to be in a space to boost each other up. And this is what I, I don't understand is, like, well, I do understand. I just don't think it's right. Basically, you have a group of insecure, mean girls that see a secure, 
nice girl and they want to pounce on her for dear life and it is insane to me that that is still happening till today like the internet exists plastic surgery exists and i'm not saying do it but i'm just saying if you really got it that bad in your head this is not something i'm encouraging you to do but i'm just saying there's options there's options. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, if it's that bad to the point where you can't even control yourself, your emotions, or your physical, like, like you want to fight somebody because you just... That's sad. That is sad. We shouldn't be doing that. Um, I've been at the spa, and I would get, like, looks left and right. All good looks. But it's like, I remember there was a woman who had a... I think it was a white woman, too. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume. She was white presenting, right? And she was, it was giving mistress the situation that at a lot of these spas, a lot of them are mistresses, but anyways, let's get cut to the chase. So she's with this man and this man looking at everybody, anybody, he ain't special either. Like he ain't cute, no nothing. Like he just probably, he probably got a bag on him. He got the bag, right? This woman has a boob job that is like. Huge. That's all I gotta say. Huge back aching. She got a butt job. Look like it could be that little flip cup thing. You know when the cl the cup flips and yes, boob job uh, was good. I think her boob job looked great. I'll say that for her. Good, but her butt looked bad. But that's okay. You can't really control it. A lot of people go back in and get multiple surger surgeries. I'm not a surgery fanatic, fanatic, but I think if that's what you're gonna do, that's what you're gonna do. There's nothing I can do about it. So basically, I'm setting up the situation. Right? She's done it. So she's talking to this man, and I'm, I'm noticing when I'm in a spa, I do, I do be looking at stuff. I be catching stuff. And I remember everywhere we went, this man, the man she was with would stare at us, look at us, and she would be talking his ear off. Like, imagine somebody's talking to you, right? They're looking at you and everything, and they're talking to you, and you looking over here. Like, you're looking at something else. you you scoping something up. And this is what I mean. I'm like, it don't matter how much money in the world you have or how much surgery you have. Once someone is tired of using you for what they've been using you, men in particular, they going on to the next, the next person that they could plump up. That's it. Like, you're not valuable. Even if you get plastic surgery, the amount that you, a disrespect you got to take. It's ridiculous for a man that can't, that can't look you in the eyes when y'all talking is ridiculous. So anyways, I'm in the pool or like the little jacuzzi thing and the... Plastic surgery female sitting there with her man, I guess. Let's say man. And I was like trying really hard not to look at her, but I could tell her man was looking at us. So my best friend, I made her sit in front of me and I was just standing from behind. You know, I got a lot to work. So I was just like chilling, joking around, talking. And my best friend is just telling me, she literally telling me at that moment, she's like, he just can't stop looking at you. Uh, it's crazy because she got all this work done and... You kill. You still can't keep his attention. So this is what I mean by because she was looking at me too. I pop, I peeped it. I was like, dude, she want me? Like, what's up? No, it was given like, it was given. She got all that surgery done, and she still can't look like me. She still can't look like a girl who's natural. She still can't look like a thick girl. It 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 doesn't matter how much surgery you get done when it comes to that insecurity. So this is what I mean by jealousy. Like I would, if I got my body done like that, and that's not something I want to get done at all. But I'm just saying, if I did, say I did, got the lotto, and they say you get this free thing, and you you're not gonna pass away. I, I was like, all right, so I do it right. If I get that done, why am I looking at other people and what they have? Like that's what I find funny. Like I don't get that, and not all women are like that. But some women are, and I'm like, it didn't even fix that. It didn't fix your jealousy. It didn't fix your insecurities. So that's what I mean by, like, you can do everything you want to yourself, make up everything, all these misogynistic things and capitalist things. Uh, surgery is a business. It's not just something that's going to help your health for the most part. Some surgeries can, but for the most part, let me say um, plastic surgery. That's what I should say. It's not going to help your health um, for the most part, for most of them. And it's like... You got it done and you still out here looking around and scoping around. So this is what I mean by what your actions are after. It's ridiculous. Like being jealous is a normal thing. We are human beings. We have emotions. If you're intact with them, love it. But it's like your actions after that, like fighting someone, giving them a nasty look, talking to them different, treating them awful just because of your insecurities is disgusting. And that's defined as jealousy. But, um... 
I never understood that. I guess because I was kind of raised as a, and I say raised as a single, uh, I guess, uh, only child. But I'm not. But I was, I didn't live with my sister. My sister's older than me. Um, so... I was always on my own. I saw my own world, my own bubble. No one burst it, no one popped it, and I would walk around this earth literally just being in my own bubble. Now, I would say my bubble has shrunken. I, I soak in a little bit of what's going on outside, but it's like, I didn't see that. Like, I, I love myself so much that I was just like, when I saw someone being themselves, I was like, I love that. Like, oh, y'all happy, I love that. I never... I never really understood. Like, if something doesn't make sense to me, it doesn't make sense to me. And I'll say it's stupid. That, that's how I am, right? But I never understood really, like, how to be jealous in a group either. Like, that, what happened with me with realistically, realistically embracing all ladies at New Polk University, their culture club, they probably changed the name by now because my YouTube is doing its thing. When that happened to me, I was like, wow, we are in a club to embrace other women and they kicked me out for being a confident woman. Let that sink in. Like, they kicked me out of their club because I wasn't being nasty. I wasn't lying. I wasn't being deceitful. I wasn't doing inappropriate things, which they were. And, like, I didn't see it at that moment because I was so blinded by, like, the cause itself. And I was just like, there's no way. Like, you know when you're... It's like kind of like being in a, a police force. Like, you think, wow, we're about to do something really good, right? crazy example but i'm just saying you think you think you think and then you get in it and you're like wow this is awful and then you have your but it takes you some time right because then you're just like wait okay all right it's really bad what they're doing is really really bad it, it takes it takes a while for you to catch it and then at that moment they're trying to see if you're trying to get with it or or you know what i'm saying vice versa like i feel like it's a situation where you, people say why didn't you leave and you know but it's like if you really cared about the cause, you stay. But in reality, I've learned from that lesson, no matter how much I care about the cause, just like being people that are in the police force, it's crooked, it's corrupt, and it's not going to work. Jealousy, envy, all that. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you have a system that's so broken in so many ways, like discrimination, racism, everything like that, it causes people to also act in ways of just being envious and jealous, which sucks. And that's why I keep want to, I want to make this content. I don't care what anyone has to say. I love talking because if you don't talk, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to change. And maybe it won't change. Let's say it doesn't change, but at least you could say you tried. And that's what I love. I love when people try. So I think that's why I'm just a loving, like, I just want people to be themselves. I don't like when people are not themselves. I'm not a superficial person. Just the word superficial gets to me. I'm not a superficial person. I'm not that girl. It's very hard for me to even think about being superficial. But a lot of people are. And I just think it's an effect of the outside world on them. And they take it and run with it. So, yeah. I would definitely say my biggest, biggest, biggest note from learning about jealousy and envy is that that one moment where I realized, like, man, I'm so happy living my life and doing all this. And, and I could have zero dollars in my bank account. And that really eats people up. It eats them up. It really does. And I got, you know, money in my bank account. I'm just saying, like, I don't care about riches and gold and, and property. And I, I don't care. I'm just living for the first time, like, for so long out of school. I'm just living. And I love it. Like, I'm living. I'm going to work. I'm making my videos watching my shows, talking to my friends, having get-togethers with real friends. People are also jealous if you have real friends. Like, if you have friends that are with you without stipulations. Um, I also think that's beautiful. I love friends that come together with you just because of you. And it could be once a year or once every two years. I don't care. Those are the real friends you want. Keep those friends around. And I have those, and I'm so lucky and love them and try to even say it to them when I literally am like, I can't afford to do this right now, but later maybe, da 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 And I'll be like, all right, I got you, I'll help you. Those are good friends. And I'm telling you, whenever I get my bag up, you know, because it's on and off, on and off, I got pay bills and do all the day and work. But I put so much into them. Like, I would be like, let's go out and get some tea. Let's go get some pizza. Let's go get some ramen. And those are the friends that you want to keep around. 
they they I don't think they are jealous of you. I think they want the best for you. You want someone who wants the best for you. Whether that be like I said, them leaving you alone or being with you. Like that is love. That is a real friend and a true friend and somebody you want to keep around. And that's how a partner should be too. Like we talk about that boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. Like they should just want the best for you. Someone who doesn't want the best for you is jealous of you and they cannot stand you. But they're going to sit there and smile on your face because when you allegedly have a downfall, they're going to be so happy. I remember when one time I was talking to a friend about, it was basically a breakup I was having. And I'm not going to say the remark she said, but the remark she said was basically projection from her own situation. And I was like, hmm... The first thing that comes out your mouth is that. Hmm. And I still talked to her and hung out with her that day because I was like, I think I think she's not trying to be evil. She's not trying to be evil. But I remember talking to my friends about it too, like about the situation and what this girl said. And they were just like, please be careful. Every time I talked about this one particular friend to my other friends, they told me to be careful. They were like, this girl is jealous of you. And anyone else around her. And she can't control her emotions. As in, basically what she does after she is being jealous. Um, and I feel like a, a thing that could help with jealousy, honestly, is focusing on what you have, one. And then knowing that there's always going to be somebody for somebody. There's always don't, don't think, oh, that person's doing better than me, this and that. No. There is a person for everyone. There is a thing for everyone and your time will come if you are not where you want to be. That is perfectly fine. Don't be jealous of it. Like I think I've had my little moment when I was literally like going into, into, well, no, I would say the beginning of community college and then the end of college, like where I was just going in and out of a different world. And I wasn't, I can't say, I don't know. Let me say jealous. I was more so jealous of like where maybe I was at was not where other students were at. Like I'm jealous of things like that. Like I'm like, man, like I really want to be there. I got to work harder, work harder. No matter how hard I work, I'm like, I'm not there yet. I get upset with that. Like things like that, like I got upset with. And then I realized like in the long run, those numbers don't even mean anything. So this is what I mean. Also to avoid jealousy, just mind your business. Mind your business. Like it will help you. You won't be jealous of anybody if you mind your business. Like I said, when I was in high school, I was in this big bubble that I love, right? And got compliments all the time. People were sweet to me. I was in the art classroom every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Like, wasn't in no drama, no BS, but I was cool with people. But, and I knew about the drama. I just wasn't in it, which I love. Um, but it was nice. Like, I really liked it. And that's because I was in my bubble. So sometimes I think really putting yourself back into your bubble is okay. Protect your peace. It's not worth it. Coming out of your bubble, sometimes you could come into a bad area of people or group. And those are not the people you want to be around. If you have a friend that literally is so quick to talk to you whenever something bad is happening in your life, that's not a real friend. It's not a real friend at all. I've had that. I've had a friend where it's like, why is it every time I come to you, we talking about some BS that is happening to you or me? Like, why do we not come around when it's like, the sun is out today. You saw that. It looks so beautiful. There was a rainbow in the sky. How you doing? Like, and how you doing as in like, what's going on? Like, did you, you try the new tea sample at Walmart? Like, we don't talk about things like that, but we always talk about a downfall or they hope for your downfall. Like, they're like, yes, you broke up with him. Ready. Tell me and why. And I will tell you why you're wrong and you're dumb. Like, no, no, we shouldn't be having friends that are hoping for our downfall. That is a jealous friend. And that's why I say, even saying jealous friend is so crazy. Like jealous, envious, and then friend. Like this is what somebody who says that they are a friend. It sucks and it's not fun. And I think also it's due to people not wanting to be alone is why they're going to stick around people that they're jealous of. Also, I've learned, everyone says, keep your en enemies closer. I believe in that. And I also learned that jealous people move in silence like they're kind of scary like i talk i say everything i don't care i say everything for hurt your feelings hurt your feelings whatever i say everything and y'all know that about me so it's like i've learned people that are really jealous will move in silence and it's kind of scary it's scary because you won't know until something crazy happens right where they really let you know how they feel about you and it was like you felt about me like like that for so long why didn't you say nothing like they let it fester in them i don't do that i don't bottle nothing up 
I don't fest or anything. I don't do anything like that. Um, and that's what I'm saying. I'm really happy that the friends that I do have in my life, I can talk to. We can have a conversation. And the friends that have left my life are the ones that have done things like that. And I'm glad that they left, they exited, because I'm telling you now, those type of people, they run through life doing that to multiple people. Until they meet someone as hateful and insecure as them. I will say that. If they meet someone that's insecure and hateful as them, they will have a field day with them. Like, y'all saw the movie Bratz when they had the twins, and the twins had the, the nose job, and they were mean, and they were nasty, and then the Brat girls got to know them and was like, hey, like, we're cool, you're cool, like that person shouldn't be treating you this way that he's like i know i'm bringing up the brats movie but you know what i'm saying like there's just some things where i'm like get over it like you know what i'm saying get over it it's not that serious um the people that you're jealous of they're cool people just know that just know that just talk to them that's why i'm like if you you like something that someone has that you don't have have a conversation with them and they could probably tell you i don't even want this this sucks like, and I've had that conversation with people. I have. I've talked to people about certain lifestyles. I'm like, I thought about going into that. I, I wish I could, but I can't. I'm a little jealous of you. I want to do that. I talked to them about it, and they're like, you don't want to do this. This is awful. You're going to regret it. You're going to have nothing to show for it in the future. Don't do it. And I respect that. I'm like, wow, so you being honest, you're actually mad cool. Now, what I could have done, what jealousy would do, give you a nasty look be snarky be rude be mean but no i just walked up to you and said hey i noticed you in this type of field of work how is it i don't think i could do it i'm a little insecure about it i don't, I don't know but i love that you do it a little jealous tell me about it that's how i think i think talking to the person will help me understand why i feel the way i do and if the way i'm feeling even makes sense i don't do it i don't know so that's what I mean. Just talk to people. That's why my channel is called Nia Talk. We need to talk more. A lot of people don't talk or don't say anything. I'm like, where are you going to get in life? You're not going to get anywhere in life. I talk and I have the nastiest comments in the world, right? Some of them I see, some of them I don't. But like I'm saying, the nastiest comments. But do I stop making videos? No, because that's what people want you to do. They want you to stop. They want you to stop talking because you're saying things that make them feel jealous, insecure, envious don't stop that's the best thing you can do that's like what they say about comedians like the if you really want to get back at a comedian the best thing to do is when they tell a joke don't laugh you know what i'm saying like there's ways to combat things without injuring yourself there really is without injuring your heart your soul and your mind be yourself but yeah jealousy that's my thought on it jealous friends jealous people but de definitely it hits deeper when it's jealous friends because you won't know you would really be thinking like wow i thought this person liked me but then you catch on you're like why are we only talking about something when it's something bad happening to me and it seems like you get off on it that's a little weird so watch out for that watch out for that and it don't matter how much money you got in your bank account if you are happy and you are loving your life people are gonna hate that and what i gotta say to that is keep living it because they can't do that they see how happy you are and you don't got a dime in your bank account and they're they're angry they're angry you make them angry by being happy so continue to be happy and making people angry and i'm not saying i have zeros in my bank account but i'm just saying it's something i noticed about society in general where we equate happiness and money together but in reality i'm t the more money you have the more problems sweetie period the more money you have the more problems you have so just be happy with what you have and go on about your business. Bye, you guys. This is just one video I'm making because I have a lot of stuff that I'm supposed to be doing and I'm working now. So I'm going to try and make one video a day. I think I want to do like a vlog tomorrow because I'm going to like a couple of fun locations. But yeah, definitely I want to make a video about New York, New Jersey. I don't really want to make another video about Connecticut because it was bums. It was boring. Like unless I'm talking about military stuff, I don't want to make another video about Connecticut. But um or Yukon. No, but I do want to talk about like fun places in New York and fun places in New Jersey. I, I would love to put pictures in, but the way my editing is, and it's not, I'm telling you, it's not me, it's my software. I don't want to overload my phone and I don't want to overload the dull device that I have. Once I get a Samsung device, give it, I'm gonna give it two years, two, two years. 
I'll definitely be editing more in the way that I want. But for now, I really love this raw connection. I love just talking. I love not putting my breaks in. I love messing up words and y'all see that I'm human. You know, it is what it is. And I definitely love making these videos and I'll continue to make them. But I know I want to make more vlogs and just talk about navigating growing up in New York, living in New York, going through Jersey all the time, um, places in Jersey to go, places in Jersey to not go, places in New York to go, places in New York not to go. And kind of hopefully debunking some of like the rumors about like New York. Like somebody wrote on my post like, oh, the ocean has rats in it. You're not wrong. Coney Island? Disgusting. Haven't been there? Will not go there. Heard the worst stories. But what I will say is once you get out east, eastern Long Island, Suffolk County, the beaches get better. The people get a little weird. All right, I'm not gonna lie. They get a little weird out there. But the nature remains the same and beautiful. And is accessible by everyone versus the beaches in Connecticut. I'm gonna bring up the beaches in Connecticut are pretty racist. Um, the prices are insane. It's still that mentality that black people should not be in white spaces such as the beach and the whole Martha's Vineyard thing comes up. You you understand what I'm saying. And I, I think that's in Rhode Island, but or Massachusetts, something like that. But you understand what I'm saying. Like it is really weird over there, but in New York, the beaches are at a bearable price. I think for every race to enjoy it. That's how I feel. Um, South Shore is great, North Shore is rocky, but yeah, I want to do more videos like that and we'll see what happens, especially because the summer's over. I'm not going to the beach tomorrow, even though I wanted to. I don't live by a beach, but I used to live by a beach and I kind of still do. I have two different locations I'd be at, but still, New York's that big, so we will talk about it. Bye, you guys.